Well, hello, friends. I have just finished the first two days of the new school year, and I wanted to share with you some of my favorite hacks that I've been using for years. Um, they are super simple, they are super cheap, they are super easy. So I've got them right here. I just want to get started. Let me show them to you. First thing, I know I did a great big long podcast episode all about my most favoritist classroom management tool, and that is my happy sad board. Now, I keep my happy sad board right here on my desk, and this is what it looks like. I just got a brand new one, and I got it from Amazon, and it was just like, I don't know, maybe 10 bucks, maybe a little bit more, but the reason I liked it was because it's on a, it's a stand. And so it sits right on my desk, right in the line of view where my students can see it, and I'm even so low tech, I just draw a happy face and a sad face. Markers stay put as I see my students doing the right thing, making great choices, coming in, sitting down, following all of my routines and my expectations. Then I draw a bunch of lines under the happy. If somebody makes a mistake, like they accidentally shout out or whatever, we get a line under the sad face. And that little bit of peer pressure, that kind of we want to do the right thing as a group mentality really makes it so that more of the kids try harder. We get a lot of lines under the happy. My favorite classroom management tool. What do I do with the results at the end? I tell the kids, hey, let Miss Smith know that you guys had an amazing day. In our school, the teachers are usually collecting compliments from us special teachers. I believe some of them like give the kids a certain amount of tokens or marbles in a jar or whatever. As long as I don't have to do anything except to give a compliment, that's a win for me. But if you're a person who does like um, an awards kind of thing in your room, then you could say, well, Mrs. Smith's class today, you guys got your paint splot on your palette or you moved your art monopoly piece or whatever thing that you're doing in your room. Me, I'm too lazy for all that. So I just stick with something simple like this. Hack number one. My other hack I wanted to share with you, sorry, I'm like rolling out of vision here, is my open and closed sign. This was a Della from the Della Make You Howl Tree. How it works is this. When my students come in my room, it almost always says close. This is hanging in a prominent place right where they can see it. What this means is it's my turn to talk. I'm going to need you to be a good listener. That means please do not raise your hand unless it's an absolute emergency. So hands are down, voices are off, you're being a good listener. When I want to open up the floor to comments, questions, or whatever it is, I flip it around to open, especially if I'm asking them questions or we're having a discussion, then the sign will say open. They still have to raise their hand. They still cannot interrupt their friends, but now they have permission to raise their hand. If you're like me, it gets frustrating when you're constantly like, guys, put your hand down. I'm talking, please put your hand down. So this really solves that problem for me. Super simple, easy hack. Another hack I wanted to share with you is on the first day after I introduce myself to my kids, I want them to really learn my name and I wanna learn theirs. So for that, I have my role, I call role, and what I do is I'll say, hello, Jane. She'll say, hello, Mrs. Stevens. And then I ask her a completely random question from my stack of completely random questions. A lot of you guys have been asking me, what are the questions? You guys, there's no magic to these questions. I'll show you. What is your favorite food? What is your favorite fruit? What is your least favorite fruit? What is your mom's name? What does she do for work? What do you, um, yeah, what does she do? What is your favorite art activity? Have you ever built a snowman? What did you use for his face? How do you say thank you in Spanish? How do you say you're welcome? What two colors make green? Can you blow bubbles with your bubble gum? What is your favorite kind of bubble gum? If you were in a rock band, what instrument would you play? Extremely random questions. They love them, gives each child a moment to have a, a conversation with me. And, excuse me, it also helps me establish good listening behaviors amongst my students. So they know, oh, just because you want to tell me what instrument that you would play is not your turn to speak. It's Jane's turn. Let's let her have her moment to shine. So it really helps me get a moment to have one-on-one -on -one with the kids and establish my listening and speaking kind of routines and procedures. And the other hack I want to share with you, I know I've shared it with you before, is my chime. This is how I get their attention, how I want them to know it's, why is it, oh, not resonating because I have paint on it. Usually it rings on and on and I've got like paint on it. 
Anyway, this is what I keep in my apron pocket forever and ever, amen. I play it probably 20 times a day whenever I want their attention. I cannot remember Mona, Lisa, you know, all the little sayings. I just can't. This, I can do, and I can get their attention quickly. So this is made by my husband. His company is called Tree Works Chimes. You can find these on a website called Sweetwater, and it's like $12. Handmade in Tennessee not anywhere else. Two more things I want to share with you. So many hacks for the first day. Floor tape. Floor tape is tape that my PE teachers use and your PE teacher probably uses it too. And the reason floor tape is so awesome is because it does not leave a residue when you peel it off, unlike masking tape or duct tape, which are your custodians are gonna not like it if you use that. If you use this, you lay it down, peel it off, it works great. Here's how I use it. I have a line of this tape outside of my door so my students know where to stand. I have a line of this tape right at the door inside of my room so my kids know where to line up. I've got lines of tape on the floor in front of me so my kids know exactly where they are to sit when they come to art class. Last but not least, these for the very, these are like my beginning of the new year, beginning of the brand new school year hacks. So I already showed you my happy sad board. My happy sad board is how the class does as a group. Did they earn a, a happy day in art? Did they have a happy day in art? Or as a group, did they not? Almost always they have a great day because that happy sad board really inspires and motivates them to do great as a whole. This, however, holds them accountable for their individual um, behavior. So this is basically, I tell them, a happy sad board just for them. So I have it indicated for all the color of tables in my room. I have a red table, an orange table, a yellow table, right? And that at each spot in my room, each child has a number of spots. So you might be red number one or red number two. There's four kids per table. Got it? Great, I knew you did. So now if you look at it, these are all in the happy spot. These are in the happy place, which is up. If I have to remind somebody, hey, Bob, please make sure that you raise your hand before speaking. But for some reason, Bob just ain't getting it. Then a little bit more of a firm reminder is, Bob, I'm so sorry, but I'm gonna have to move your button down and only you can make it so I move this button back up. So if Bob improves his behavior, knows that I'm actually being pretty serious and said, you know, despite what I look like, I do want you to raise your hand. Um, then if he improves his behavior, I'm just gonna move Bob right back up. However, if Bob can't seem to get his life together and his button never gets moved back up, then I'm going to have to let his teacher know and they have consequences in their room. Um, how this was made is it's just really a really ratty clipboard. These are just, I actually use masking tape, but you could use pieces of construction paper on your um, clipboard. I put um, clear packing tape over it these guys are just flat marbles or glass marbles that I put a puffy paint line on and Velcro on the back. This took a little while to create, but I've been using it now for a while and it works great. Basically, it just lets my kids know, okay, Stevens means serious business. So anyway, those whoo, are my favorite back to school hacks. I'm sorry I talked so quickly, but I wanted to squeeze them all in and make it so it wasn't a million hour video. So if you have any questions for me, you should probably ask. I'm miserable at responding, but I'll try. Thanks guys. I'll be sharing much, much more on my Instagram, my blog, and my podcast. So I hope you'll take a listen.